Well, hey guys, I've been getting a question that seems to pop up every week. I did address this in another video, and I'll put a link to that video. But this is more of a demonstration. The problem is, or at least the question is, people, they buy these kits, or they build a little amplifier. They hook it up, and they get a lot of buzz. What is the problem? Well, nine times out of ten, it's just picking up noise on the inputs. The amplifier is working properly. It's just picking up noise. What can you do about that? Well, I'll set up a little demonstration and show you some things you can do about that. Okay, I've set up this little amplifier board here. And I will apply power to it. And listen. Well, as you can hear, it's picking up some noise. And sometimes, in headphone wares, be warned, it's gonna, it might get loud here, you'll get a shrieking sound as well. If there is a lot of feedback. So what can you do? Well, you want to make sure you use a shielded cable. I did use a twisted pair cable, but even then it is still picking up some noise. You know, amplifiers do what amplifiers do. They make a smaller signal large, and it does pick up some of that electrical noise. So another thing you can do is add a resistor across the input. And the value of that resistor will depend on what you're going to use the amplifier with. If you're going to use it with a music player that has a headphone type output jack that you want to feed into the amplifier, you can use a lower value resistor like a, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1K. If it's going to be a line type input, you'll have to use a higher value resistor like um, you can start at 2.2k but somewhere between that and maybe 10k if you go too high with the resistor value it won't get rid of the noise as well now one area re you really can't or shouldn't add a resistor is if you're using your amplifier with a musical instrument like a guitar those require high impedance inputs so you just have to shield those as best as you can you probably use a guitar with a preamp anyway but just be aware of that okay well for this demonstration I'm going to take this resistor and plug it into well across the input They are dead silent. Quieted that down. Now if I touch it, you still might get a little bit, but you know, it got rid of that noise. So now we can plug it into a music player. Play something. By the way, that's just YouTube music, so I don't get copyright strikes. Now, if you want to put a volume control across your amplifier input, you can do that. You don't need that resistor. You just choose a volume control that has the same resistance value of the resistor that you were going to use anyway. So, you know, same difference. And I'll also put a link to my adding a volume control to your amplifier. It's a pretty good instructional video on how to do that. Well, I hope this helps you out, and thanks for watching.